Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're good, great, fantabrifical, and all that good stuff. <laughs> As you can see, this isn't the giveaway video yet, guys. I know, I know, it's not out yet. But I'm still making something to add to that giveaway, so please bear with me. It will come, I promise you. <laughs> Another thing you may notice is that the flailing hands in this video do not match the words that are currently coming out of my mouth. <laughs> But that's just technical difficulties. We will work through it. As you can see here, guys, on the screen, these are ATCs. I'm sure you've guessed it. They're little teeny tiny cards, artist trading cards to be exact. And I have never done ATCs on my channel. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. <laughs> But I never have. I've done ICAD, which is the index cards, but those are, of course, bigger. Um, I did do a project once with some other YouTubers that were, it, it was like a traveling ATC thing where I had done a background on a larger sheet that would eventually get cut up into ATCs. But sadly, that didn't come into fruition. So technically, I've never made ATCs on this channel. <laughs> So we're going to do it today. I hope you guys love ATCs because I was so excited to make this and had an amazing time making these. Um, I've got all my bits and bobs out. As you can see, I love my bits and bobs. It's going to be obviously a mixed media collage style. Um, and yeah, I don't know 100% in the beginning where I wanted to go with this. I just knew that I'd be using these bits and bobs and, you know, my essential tools here. I also wanted to go with the Prima watercolors because they just make so many colors. If you haven't seen this video, I made a video here mixing six of the colors from this palette and I made 81 just by mixing. It was so fun. Check the I card if you're interested in that video. It'll be in the top right. Um, another thing I want to mention guys before we get into things, I get a lot of questions about the products that I use in my videos. So like what's, what kind of paper is that? What kind of pen is that? Especially the one I just held up because you could barely see the title. I do hold my products up in every video and kind of freeze the screen so you could see it. But I find a lot of people when watching the videos, they don't watch through the whole thing and may skip through and actually miss when the products are being held up. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to link below in the description on every video, all my most essential favorite mixed media collage tools. So not like you know, the, the pattern tissues and the washies, not that kind of stuff. But as far as my acrylics here that I use the same brand of every time, as far as the pens I use for mark making, the glues I use for gluing the collage pieces down, the paints I use, the paper I use, it never changes. And so I'm going to link that stuff down below. So you can take a look if you're interested and also click the links if you're, you want to buy them. Of course, these do go to Amazon and they are Amazon affiliate links. So if you do click them, of course, I get a teeny tiny cut, <laughs> but it's no extra cost to you. So, you know, if you're interested, I'd appreciate if you click the links or just check the description box just if you're curious about what I use. OK, um, aside from that, we're going to get into the ATCs. I do want you to stick through to the outro of this video because it's a little interesting. I'm wondering if you guys will notice throughout the video that some of this is similar to something I've done in the past and I myself didn't notice that until like midway through the video. So stay tuned to the end. We're going to get into it and I will see you then. Alrighty? Bye!
guys this is it this is how they've turned out you may notice that this whole table is clean magically all of a sudden <laughs> this is because i'm actually recording this outro a day later because after filming the video yesterday i had a bunch of technical difficulties the intro audio got messed up the outro got cut off and so this is my outro <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if any of you have noticed, if you're someone who has followed me for a while and has seen my past videos, this may look extremely familiar to you. Extremely familiar. I realized soon after starting this that I had done a zine. I don't know if you guys remember, it's been quite a while now, but it was a zine that was like the accordion flip. I think it was five or six across. And it was this tiny, but I guess I can't call them ATCs because ATCs are separated. However, I did a zine, and as I was working on this today, not today, yesterday, as I was working on this yesterday and got started, I started to realize, wait a minute, this is reminding me of something. I thought about the zine, I remembered that it had the um, brown tones as well as this lime green, and one of the girls, I think I used a different one of my Digi Stamp girls, but anyway, I kind of went with that flow because I really love how that zine turned out. If you want to see that video and you haven't checked it yet, go up in the iCard, I'm going to link it there. It was also for a hop and a giveaway, which obviously the giveaway is closed now, but check it out if you want to see how the zine was made. But yeah, you guys might have noticed as I was making this and throughout this video that it looked super familiar. It's almost the same when it comes to the elements. Of course, I switched them up, but as far as like the different papers I used and like the color coding, color coding, <laughs> the color scheme that I used, it is very similar to that zine. Regardless, I absolutely love how this turned out. This is one of my favorite things I'm noticing now that I've done this is the whole eye cat, not eye cat. Listen, my brain, when I tell you about my brain, <laughs> the ATC, the ATC thing is awesome. I love working on these little teeny tiny pieces. I feel like it takes so much of the stress out of it. Mind you, yes, there's a bunch of different elements and papers that were put into this, but I feel like because the, the, the size is so small, it's so much less stressful. You don't have this big blank surface in your face wondering, oh my gosh, how do I fill this? What do I do? This was so much easier. And I love the iCADs as well. I just can't keep up with iCAD, the 30 day thing, forget it. But yeah, I think I'm going to definitely do more ATCs in the future, obviously in some different styles maybe, not just this one type of, you know, mixed media collage thing. Maybe I'll do some abstract painted ones, maybe I'll do, I don't know, whatever. We're going to play with the ATCs going forward. So I hope you loved this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you maybe pulled out your bits and bobs and played along with me. And I really do hope that you guys subscribe to my channel. I know that this is something that I don't usually say, but over half of the people that view my videos aren't even subscribed to my channel. So I'm speaking to you, you right there who has now watched a good two, three, four, five of my videos and you still haven't clicked subscribe. I think it's about that time. <laughs> I think it's about that time to join the family. Click subscribe. Also click the bell guys because as you see there are times when my steady weekly videos may go off track. We were on Sundays every week for a good almost two months. Now we're on Wednesdays because my whole work week schedule has changed um, and of course today it's being posted on a Saturday. So things may change. Hit that uh, bell notification so you know when they come out and I'm gonna finish rambling now. Hope you enjoyed. Love you the most and see you on Wednesday. Bye!